What's up dudes? We're about to go for an epic adventure up in the mountains of Colorado. Going to a cool little town called Allen's Park, an unincorporated little mountain town. Exploring on my old M Super Pro right here. And this wheel, you can see, is still trucking along. And I have thousands and thousands of miles on this thing, guys. And it is still working great. This is just the wheel I had because I was thinking about going trail riding. This is my designated trail riding wheel. But I decided, hey, there's no one out and about today on the road, so let's go cruise. Made for a great video. Stay okay, tuned, guys. Back to another one. Just got done making some breakfast and some coffee. About to head out. Got the wheel charging up right here. About to go on the M Super Pro. I got a flat tire on the M Ocean B12. I haven't fixed it yet. We're gonna head up to the mountains, dudes. Go do some snowboarding and go on to ride the unicycle. So 100% going to do my favorite things today. And let's go do it, guys. Get the bag packed up right here. Boom, 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 boom. Might do some day camping too or something like that too. That's, I enjoy that. I like going up just for like the day, setting up the tent, making some food and all that stuff. Staying overnight in the winter time is a little bit much. I want to get like a hot tent and then get like a little hot stove. I found a setup on Amazon, like a hot tent setup. that was like, you could get the whole thing, everything you needed for like 250 bucks. So might do some winter time camping here soon. Anyways, dudes, let's go out here and go shred. Snowboard was good. This cruise is nice, man. The roads are completely cleared. Look at this. The roads are clear completely, but we did get a lot of snow on the side, you see. So this is nice. When the roads aren't bad and it's sunny outside and you can just see everything, it's gorgeous, guys. I think also, too, I just had LASIK eye surgery. It is incredible how good I can see now. I, 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 I am amazed, dude. Like, I literally was living blind. Completely blind. Like, I legit, dude, like, I feel like I've come into an entire new realm. Like, my render distance has improved, bro. This is amazing. This is, um, I can see so much better than I used to be able to see, dude. I can, the world looks so beautiful now. Like I could, I could literally just drive all day, all night, just drive and look at stuff. I seriously could. This is amazing. Best thing I have ever done is get basic eyes. That is the by far the best thing I've ever done. I hated it for two weeks, dude. My eyes were so dry. But dude, oh my god, can I see now? Like somebody, like this is this is amazing. And I could never wear sunglasses either, guys, because I never had prescription sunglasses. So on top of not being able to see, the sun was like blinding me. But now that I can wear like polarized sunglasses and my eyes are fixed, dude, this is amazing. Amazing. Amazing, bro. I love about a two wheel drive pickup truck. You can go get sideways, baby. You. But heading into the Roosevelt National Forest. We've got the wheel. We've got the camera gear. We're about to have a good day, dude. Let's go. Ryan had a ton of fun. Got the board loaded up in the back right here. And I'm about to head on down and go find a new spot to go ride the unicycle, dudes. You. Check this out, dude. It's a uh, it's a spring over across the Peak to Peak Highway, and just look for some new spots to ride and adventure at. And it started getting late in the day, so I ended up just stopping and ripping down the highway for a minute before dark. But it ended up being a really cool adventure, dudes, and. I um, w went over here and we went to, I found a cool little like natural spring and it's like a spring where you can go to and just like fill up water bottles and stuff. It's like a natural spring, super, super good, like clean water. It's kind of weird. I, I kind of was wild, dude. They just think it's just, you know, they're on the side of the road in the community. I wish every everywhere had one of these where you could just go get fresh drinking water, just fill up water jugs right in your community like that. They had really good like natural spring water. That is, I thought it was really cool. 
it's always the little things, you know, you gotta, you gotta appreciate the little things, especially in small towns like this. And as I've lived in Colorado um, for about seven years now, one thing that I've really started to appreciate more is the small town life and just the outdoor life and not the resort towns and just going to like ski at like, let's go to Breckenridge or let's go to Vail or whatever it is, dude. Like, nah, you're missing out, man. You can just like, have just as much fun going snowshoeing or just have just as much fun going on a hike or just enjoying the part of the landscape that's not inhabited by you know 50,000 people and people that they got money flowing out of their ears you can just go to places like this that just have no one pretty much they go to them in the winter time and really enjoy it like look at this there's no one on this road guys and like I'm not being unsafe on this at all like thing I was doing here is like looking behind me and cars can't see me like from approaching me from behind like this and then I'm also looking enough over my shoulder to when they do approach what I'll do is pull as far over as I can to the shoulder and slow down and then I'll let them go by and that shoulder is wide enough you see there but it is icy so that's why I'll slow down and just let them go by and I'm not going to try to ride in the road or anything like that or you know try to be <laughs> Like, like some of these road cyclists where I'm trying to keep my heart rate up or whatever, dude. I can just pull all the way over, let them go by, and then continue on. And that's exactly what I do with these road situations, guys. I don't play with it. You know, it's um, it may look like I'm being dangerous in this, guys, but I really am using a, a, a genuine good amount of common sense whenever it comes to doing this. It's not something I'm doing for a long, long period of time, and it's not something I'm doing um, recklessly. Or anything like that i'm genuinely just trying to have a good time and not get injured or not get in anybody's way while i'm doing it that's exactly what i do whenever you know whenever i go try to ride these things and you should as well that's how you should ride these things you should try as hard as you can just because these things haven't been integrated into society yet and the only way they will be integrated is if we don't cause any disturbances you just gotta ride these things guys and just avoid as many people as you can, as many bad situations, and literally just, just ride it in your own world, but be courteous of others and, and everybody else, their commute, um, their infrastructure, etc., etc. You know, just be, be cool. So right now I'm heading over to a little town in Colorado called Allen's Park, and this is an unincorporated town, and it's a relatively, you know, a small population up here, but it is a quite a big area, and it's basically just a high meadow that's surrounded by mountains on all the sides, and it got its name from a miner who built his first cabin up here in the area, and during that was like during the gold rush in like 1859. Anyways, the guy's name was Alonzo Allen, and that's where it gets its name from. And this place is really, really unique. Um, late 1890s, most residents up here were farmers, ranchers. But early 1900s was resurgence of the gold fever and everything. And the, the gold miners found it, you know, that they could make more income catering to the tourists up here. And so now, that's kind of where it's kind of shifted towards as being geared towards a small little tourist town in the summertime where you can get little cabins up here. You can literally rent these small little cabins that are cool, man, really cool little cabins and chill out up here in the summer. And this is right down the road, guys, from Caribou Ranch. And Caribou Ranch itself is something that you probably don't know about, but some of your favorite rock and roll hits from the 70s were probably recorded right down the road from where I'm at, right here on this unicycle. And look into it, guys. Check out um, Google Caribou Ranch in Colorado. And there, I mean, the list of artists Michael Jackson recorded there. Elton John recorded the entire album Caribou. And that's where the album Caribou got its name from. He recorded it right up the road from where I'm at right here. Not even kidding you guys. And a whole list of other, the Beach Boys. I mean, Rod Stewart, it goes on and on. You would be amazed. Caribou Ranch Recording Studio is still a place where you can go check out. I'm pretty sure you can go in and check it out. And I literally rode right by it. But um, it's just it's so cool, guys. It really is neat up here. You would never think that where I'm at right here was where your favorite rock and roll hits in the 70s were probably recorded at. 
Maybe I'll look into seeing if I can go do a tour of that during the summer or something like that. I really want to. I really want to go check it out myself because it is beautiful on the inside, and I think they've pretty much kept it untouched. And it was just think of this, guys. Think of like a recording studio with just like wood grain everything. Like everything was just like that super '70s style wood grain. Like every all the switches and everything were just encased in the nicest wood. They had leather sofas in this place. Uh, it was it was sweet for its time and they would come up here to escape the hustle and bustle of the city so they could just have a free mind they could write they could record um this i mean that's what a lot of artists of the time did is because you can get huge inspiration being in the mountains and just being away from just the hustle and bustle you really can the inspiration you can get is just awesome anyways this where i'm at right now allen's park is up the highway so you have you have to go down peak to peak highway a little bit farther in order to get over to caribou ranch but allen's park is farther on over if you're coming from the denver area um this is cool check this out dude it's a uh it's a spring it's been here for i think since like 1940 46 or so check it out you can just come up here and get fresh water right out of here you can fill up your uh, five gallon jug if you need to. So just turn on the switch. So it takes a minute. It has to pump the water down, but check it out. So 19, that was July 1947. Exactly where we are. And this is the spring. We fill up and get water, man. Get cool. Amazing, man. Boom. Operated by Allen's Park Water. Been bringing uh, water up here to residents and drivers for more than 50 years. So that you just fill up your whole, uh, like, five gallon water jugs and whatnot right there. This is epic cinnamon roll, dude. Dude, I gotta get one of those. That looks like a heart attack, bro. I don't really have it. Pretty fun. I got a. What's the battery life on it? That one, I can go about probably like 45 miles on that oh, one. Yeah, I got, I got one. I can go 100. I dented the rim on it, dude. So when I'm riding, it's like wobbling. Yeah. It's like, dude, and especially on one wheel, you feel it real big. Oh time, yeah, dude. I bet. Yeah, I think it's so sweet. It's 
seen a couple. I used to live in Fort Collins, and I see some like college kids riding around on things yeah, like that. Yeah, dude. I have 80 dirt bike tire on it. Oh no! Way. I got so much mud kicked in it, it completely fried it, burned the motherboard and the motor. And I was all the way out behind horse two, yeah. no way back. My phone was dead, and I was out there like cold as fuck, dude. And I had to walk carrying that thing. Like yeah, five, I'm sure that's not like five miles, bro. Like, and my hands are like bleeding <laughs> yeah. by the time I got back. I was pissed, dude. But yeah, it, I bet before you were pissed, you were having a hell of a time. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> I was trying to get to an Uber, dude. So I, I contacted the Uber guy, and he wasn't gonna come up the dirt roads up there. So I literally oh, yeah. like hiked to a dirt road, and he's like, I can't find you, man. I'm like, come on, dude. Just come up the road, please, yeah, bro. I appreciate it, man. You have a good one now. Fern Cliff, Colorado. This is such a cool place though, dude. Legit. What? And it's in it's nice too, dude. When's the last time you ever saw a payphone that wasn't destroyed? That's crazy. Look at that. No graffiti on it. Not destroyed. That's pretty wild. Alright, dude. I did it. I did it.